Okay guys, this is another episode of Scott Talks Law and welcome to another episode of Scott Talks Law. So in this episode we'll be talking about law democracy. So by defining democracy, uh, democracy refers to the form of government that empowers people to exercise their political control and limits the powers of the government and ensures that there is separation of powers and human rights and liberty is protected. So we have principle of dem- principles of democracy. The first principle is the principle of uh, popular sovereignty. And this is the principle that ensures that the government in place must obtain the consent of the people. Another principle is the principle of uh, electoral system, that in a democratic country there must exist a perfect or a good electoral system. Another principle is the principle of separation of power. That in a democratic country there must be separation of power. There must be distinction between the three arms of the government. Another principle of democracy is the principle of the rule of law. That in a democratic country there must be conformity to the particular laws of that country. That uh, impunity is not allowed in a democratic country. Another principle of democracy is the principle of accountability. This is the principle that calls for legitimate expectation to government bodies, that government bodies must act according to the expectation of the people and they must be accountable for their action when they are making these policies and plans. Another principle of of democracy is the principle of education, that in a democratic country people must be educated about government policies and uh, projects and this calls for public participation and things like public participation, participation. So in a democratic country, there must be uh, education. So uh, those are the principles of democracy. So we have types of democracy. We have direct democracy, indirect democracy, constitutional democracy, uh, participatory democracy, liberal democracy, and uh, socialist democracy. So uh, under the so the history of democracy is described by Abraham Lincoln, and according to Abraham Lincoln, democracy is derived from a Greek word, demoskratia. A demos means the people, and kratia means the government. So according to Abraham Lincoln, the government in place must obtain the people's consent, and people can participate either directly or indirectly in electing leaders of their own choice to represent them. So. Um, Many people have criticized democracy for particular reasons. Some claim that democracy or in a democratic country there is power struggle. Um, Some claim that democracy is expensive to implement. Others claim that democracy is slow because uh, it does not uh, act fast. They claim that democracy is slow. Others claim that uh, democracy creates uh, enmity because uh, there is a majority and minority party. So the majority party forms the government, whereas the minority party forms the opposition. So there is enmity between the opposition and the ruling party. Another critic is that democracy is the is about numbers. The, it's just about numbers, not about uh, people's, it's about the majority. So the minority is not cut and four. So it's about the politics of numbers. So uh, under theories of democracy, we just, we're just looking at, at the philosophers or people who talked about democracy. So John Locke says that democracy must be about equity and fairness. Um, Aristotle claims that democracy must be about constitutional uh, issues. Issues to do with uh, to, uh, so it talks about issues to do with constitution. Uh, we also have uh, John Stewart Mill, and according to John Stewart Mill, he talks about uh, freedom. That in a democratic country, there must be basic freedom. We also have John Rawls, and John Rawls talks about fairness and equity. That in a democratic country there must be fairness and equity. So uh, Montesquieu talks about the rule of law. That in a democratic country there must be conformity to the rule of law. There must not be impunity in a democratic country. Failure to observe 
uh, the rule of law is not uh, the principle of democracy. We talked about the principles of democracy. So we have forms of government. We have presidential form of democracy and parliamentary form of democracy. So in this episode, we're going just to consider the uh, par parliamentary form of democracy. And parliamentary form of democracy, uh, this is the form uh, that is uh, led by the prime minister. So the prime minister is appointed by the members of parliament who are elected by the people. So people participate in electing MPs who are going to elect the prime minister. So the prime minister, after being elected, will appoint cabinet from the, pri from the, pri from the members of the parliament. So this form of parliamentary uh, democracy does not allow or provide a clear distinct separation of powers because we see that Members, ministers are, are, are appointed from members of parliament. So the, the legislature and the executive are two different bodies. And when ministers are being appointed from members of parliament, we find that there is no clear separation of powers. And that is a, the, as a, it's a challenge to this, uh, this uh, form of uh, government. So under this parliamentary form of democracy, the head of a state is the queen or king and the head of government is the prime minister so the prime minister does not enjoy that uh, freedom because he can be re-elected anytime so that's a challenge to this parliamentary form of democracy the prime minister can be re-elected anytime